If marks are found on the seating in the bore, recondition the seating with a seating face cutter. Finally, grind the seating with a grinding mandrel and a grinding compound. For example, carborundum number 200. After milling and grinding, thoroughly clean the bore and seating and check again that there are no signs of damage on the seating. After reconditioning the seating in the bore and thoroughly cleaning both bore and seating, fit new O-rings on a new or overhaul fuel valve which has just been pressure tested and lubricate with molybdenum disulfide. Carefully mount the valve in the cylinder cover. To ensure that over-tightening has not taken place, check that the locking and indicating pins have not been bent or broken off. In the event of over-tightening, mount a new spring housing. We recommend that the calibration of new and especially old spring housings be checked before they are mounted on the engine or on the fuel valve test rig. Mount the spring housings and retaining nuts. Tighten the nuts until the top face of the pressure disc is flush with the top face of the spring housing. Reconnect the return oil pipe to the fuel valve. Check that there are no marks on the seating surfaces of the fuel oil high pressure pipe. If necessary, recondition the seatings as described in procedure number 909. On fuel oil high pressure pipes which are provided with a steel armoured protective hose, also check distance D, that is between the thrust bushing and the pipe end. See procedure number 909. Clean the threads and replace the O-rings. Coat the threads with molybdenum disulfide. Mount the fuel oil high pressure pipe. Adjust the torque spanner to the value indicated in procedure number 901. Tighten the coupling pieces using the torque spanner. Using the hook spanner, tighten the union nut. Close the fuel oil drain valve. Turn on the fuel oil supply.